Hey YouTube, it's Boston Girl 5560, and I'm going to review the Little Remedies Survival Kit. Yay! Um, I put this on my baby shower registry. I did not receive it. Damn people. But I did purchase it for myself. I was a little disappointed. Um, the Walmart and Target shelves did not have it in abundance. And the ones I found, like, they were open. Like, I think people are trying to jack a few things out of it. Which is fine. Uh, I don't buy medication that's open or partially open. My mother just bought something and the box was open. I told her either return it or throw it out. You know, I don't want anything that's tampered with. So let's stop. start with the gripe wire. I actually threw out the gripe wire. I had kept it for a long time um, because I wanted to use it for this review. But the problem was the little, out. Uh, I'll find a picture of it or whatever. The little uh, remedies gripe water has to be refrigerated. Who the hell knew that, you know? And um, I didn't have time for refrigeration between making bottles, feeding, pampering, clothing, washing clothes. Who had time to refrigerate gripe water? She had gas, plus the gripe water didn't really help. I don't know who it helped, but it didn't help me. But if you really want to try the gripe water and you don't have time for refrigeration, I suggest you go to Mama's Bliss. I think it's Mommy's Bliss or something, and I'll throw a picture of it around here somewhere so you can see what it looks like. Anyways, but grape water really didn't work for me, and a little remedy, and plus the fact that I already threw away the box. So I didn't even know it had to be refrigerated. It's not on the label or anything until I was reading somebody's um, blog, which is crazy. And I was hoping, you know, I hope I didn't give my child anything dangerous. Well, she's all right now, but what else? So then I I'll show you. So the next thing I got in the box was the uh, Little Remedies for Fevers Infant Fever Pain Reliever. It's acetaminophen. And basically this is baby Tylenol. And I have used it. And I do appreciate the little plunger that came with it and on the side it has the amounts and stuff so I really appreciate it and if you um, open it it has a little plunger place for the plunger and you just stick it in there and you know plunge out as much as you need and um, they actually did give you this little chart here of uh, the dosages, I know you can't see it because of the white, but the dosages also comes in, which is nice. And you can also get it online, and I'd also consult your doctor uh, about the dosages to give your child, depending on what age and what weight. The next thing I got was the saline drops, which I, I really use this because my child was always congested or whatever and I'll put pictures up because clearly my camera is showing these like a little too white but anyways um I got the saline drops and I really like this but I just didn't like having to do this so I ended up getting this one from um and the reason I like this is because you can just put it to the nostril and squirt it up opposed to having to um kind of put her upside down and drop this in so this one was easier with an infant so I didn't really use this this much and then I got this um, one decongestion nose drops which would have been nice but I don't think I can use them on her helps the common cold she's too young for it it says for children from two to six my child's only four months old so Maybe I'll use this one day. Presently, I'm not using it. Then I had the gas drops, which I I kind of use them in conjunction um, with the grape water. I don't know if my child had some crazy ass gas, but it did not work in minutes, and she was screaming her head off. And I tried everything, and then I talked to the doctors about it, and she said none of this crap works, which I kind of totally believe. So basically, you get two syringes that comes with it also. You also get a little plunger, which I use for the grape water, actually. Actually, you know what? I think this is the Mommy Bliss uh, plunger, now that I think about it. Hmm. 
I'm not sure where I got this because, you know, this cute little bag holds a lot of stuff. So all the little medications I have acquired have ended up in the cute little bag. Um, but I'm not sure if I got this from Mommy's Bliss. I think I got this from Mommy's Bliss. Not sure. Anyways, and then I got an aspirator that says Little Remedies on it, but you can't really see it because of the light. I really like this aspirator. It's, I guess I feel like I'm not sticking it up as deep as the um, one from the hospital. She can't stand this one. I mean, crying, screaming, moving the head all over the place. But this one she seemed to like a little better. Maybe because it's not as intrusive. Anyway, so I don't really think it's worth it. I think you can buy these things very individual the way you like them opposed to it was very knowledgeable because I never had a kid before so getting these things now I know what I would personally get having another kid or advise someone to get but if you're a new mom I would be safe and I would get the whole thing it doesn't hurt I mean I think the whole thing was like twenty dollars or twenty seven dollars which you know it did make me feel safer to have this because you know if anything came up I had if anything came up I had something I felt comfortable and safer. There was a survival kit that I couldn't find that I actually got someone like 10 or 15 years ago. I guess it doesn't exist anymore. But anyways, I do feel if you're a new mommy, it's worth a shot. Uh, hey, who knows? Gripe water might work for you. It didn't work for me. But for me, I would give this a 2 out of 5. It, it really wasn't worth it. I ended up rebuying a few things on my own. The only thing I've used consistently is the baby title now. That's my review. Bye YouTube.